so hard. Amen. And he still has not succeeded. Amen. Hallelujah. And the reason why we know that he has not succeeded is because you're here. Amen. Tell somebody, say, I'm here. Hallelujah. I know you could have went ahead and a whole lot of things could have came up to try to keep you from coming. Amen. But you still came anyhow. Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. So you're here. Hallelujah. And we bless the name of God because of you being here. Amen. I first see time and harvest revival. And God would go ahead and have us to go ahead and deal with some things. And I know that the God is going to bless us. Amen. And it's going to go ahead and educate us even further <clears throat> from the word of God. Amen about sowing and about seeding, amen, and giving unto the Lord, amen. amen. Hallelujah. So I thank God for you being here, amen. In Acts 2, verse 43, and I'm telling you, we read on, we read on schedule, we read on, we read on schedule on what the Lord would have us to do, because what we were, and the whole vision is, is in order for, uh, you to get all that you can get. Amen. And for the Lord to say all that he's going to say. We want to make sure that there's no hindrances. Amen. You want to be able to get this all. Amen. We thank God that you're being here. Pop Saul and Mother Olga, we thank God that you came. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all of your beautiful faces. Amen. Look at Acts 2. I'm not going to go on any longer. Acts 2. Verse 43. It says this. A deep sense of awe came over them all. And the apostles performed many miraculous signs of wonder. And all the believers met together constantly and shared everything they had. They sold their possessions and shared the proceeds with those in need. They worshiped together in the temple each night, met in homes for the Lord separate, and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. All the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day, the Lord added to their group those who were being saved. Somebody say amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I just want to go ahead and talk to you a little bit. Amen. If you come with me, amen, we won't be long. Amen. amen. So we need to be long. Amen. Amen. I want to talk today, amen, a little bit about the thought of back on track. Back on track. Somebody say that when we say back on track. Back on track. Come on now. Yes, back on track. Back on track. Back on track. Like I stated earlier, we are here for our first seed time and harvest revival. And my assignment is that of the seed. All right. And while there are many aspects of the sea, I would like to concentrate just for a little while on the manifestation mm. of the sea. All right, doctor. Because, because I, I, I see that God is about mm -hmm. to manifest that sea. Mm -hmm. He's about to manifest that seed, and I, and I mean that seed is, is the seed and the thing that you've been waiting on My God. for years. 
The thing that you've been going ahead and, and praying for for years, the thing that you've been in your in your secret closet about for years, God is about to manifest that seed. Thank you, Lord. Even now, somebody that believes that say amen. And then, and then you see, my brothers and sisters, what, what we got to understand, we got we to gotta go ahead and become educated about this thing of seed and sowing. We got to become educated about it because, you know, the church has been put down so much about even asking for an offering. Amen. Say the church has been ridiculed because of, 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 of even going ahead and having a time of tithes and offering and, and giving. And yes, rightly so, there are some that have abused that. But when you really get into the true essence of what it's all about, you'll see that there is a blessing in it. Amen. Somebody say yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. See, my brothers and sisters, I, I, that's the reason why I, I, I believe that uh, if I have a witness in the house, that, that I believe that the believers have been fought so hard this year. All right, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. They've been fought so hard this year. But, but, but let, me, let me share something with you. In order for a manifestation to come, there has to be a breaking of the shell of the sea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So in order for Hallelujah, the breaking of the shell to come forth before the seed can be all that it was meant to be, a seed is no good just being by itself. Come on, come on. Yeah. Are y'all here? Say amen. Yeah, right. so, so, so that had to become a breaking, y'all, and, and, and that is why there, there has come such a spirit, y'all gotta hear me, there has come such a spirit of disagreement in the church. Uh-huh. Yes. Because the enemy knows, hallelujah, that, that, that where there's disagreement, there is confusion. Uh -huh. Yes. And as you know, church, we can't go anywhere there is confusion. Where there's confusion, we can't go anywhere. And the enemy doesn't want us to go ahead and get on the same page. He don't want us to go ahead and come together. He don't want us to get into the same mindset. He wants to keep us divided. He wants to keep us confused. And he wants to keep us going ahead and talking about one another and going texting about one another and want to go on Facebook about one another. He don't want us to get on the same page. He don't want us to go ahead and get to the point where we go ahead and start encouraging one another and supporting one another instead of talking about one another and putting each other there. Jesus. Uh. See, he don't want us to go ahead and do that like this. He don't want us to come into the spirit of, uh, of, just, of this church that was in the book of Acts. Uh, yes. He don't want us to go ahead and come into that because when they were in that kind of church, there was such a oneness in that church. There was such a oneness in the church. Y'all, that giving wasn't even a big idea. It wasn't a big deal, man. It wasn't a big deal. I mean, hallelujah. They were so in tune with God's spirit that giving wasn't a big deal. That's right. That's right. Oh no, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. Giving, yes, giving. They was in tune to what God wanted them to do. And giving was not a big deal to them. It didn't even matter to them. It wasn't a big deal to them, y'all. But, but I see so much now that, 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 that it, it seems like uh, people are going to pull out their teeth when you ask them uh, that it's giving time. It's time to give them to the Lord. And it seems like a person will go ahead and play like they forgot their purse in the car because it's giving time. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? All because... Oh, uh, okay. But when you get into the spirit of it, like these people in the book of Acts, giving wasn't a big deal. They were giving so much, y'all, that it just seemed like there was so much in tune that it seemed like that just giving just flowed from out of it. It just came from out of them. They didn't have to go ahead and have uh, chicken dinners. And they didn't have to have auctions for a television. And they didn't have to have raffles. Uh -huh. They didn't have to do well, all that to raise money, y'all. Well, you know what I'm saying? Hallelujah, because giving just came out of them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it just flowed. It's right. It's right. Out of them. Hallelujah. There was so much in tune that the Bible says that when a need arose, Hallelujah, that they were willing y'all to sell their possession oh, and, and share the proceeds, y'all, with somebody that was in need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's some true giving, y'all. They were going and they were even willing to do all of that. And we know, y'all, that there were some that were playing around it. We know that there were some that were playing like they were giving, and they really were not giving at all. But you, you, you can't worry about that. You can't worry about folk like that. You need to let God deal with folk like that. You can't worry about that. And we know, according to the book of Acts, God did deal with those type of individuals. So don't worry about yeah. individuals that are playing like My God, my God, yeah. my God. They are giving them a plan like they're giving them all the good. They're playing like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're going to take a piece of their proceeds to support. Don't, don't worry about that. Because God handles all of that kind of stuff. He, he, he handles that and you ain't got to worry about that. You need to let the Lord handle things like that. Tell somebody next to you say, let the Lord 